Well, let's move swiftly on. Let's talk about let's talk about my country. It's the United Kingdom. That's right. The UK are represented by Ollie Alexander, formerly of Years and Years, uh, with the song Dizzy this year. The UK, of course, have won five times last time out in 1997 and came blimmin' close in 2022 with Sam Ryder. Um, Ollie is a massive, massive star in the UK and, of course, internationally. So that's got to stand him in, in some good stead. Uh, the UK is currently four, uh, 12th favourite to win Eurovision. You can, best bets you can get at 35 to 1. Um, yeah, let's go straight to Andy Brook. Andy, there has been a, I guess there was a lot of hype around this entry until it was released. And is it fair to say that there's been a little bit of disappointment around uh, the Eurovision fandom? Do we call it fandom, fan zone these days? What are your thoughts on this entry? Um, yeah, this is the fact I, that. I, I, I'm, I'm, go. No, no, I, I would say, um, I was a bit worried that. Ollie doesn't have quite the best voice singing live. I've heard a lot of people say that he's not brilliant. And um, and the song itself, well, you know. And then Stuart, I have to say, contacted me and he said, have you heard this song? It is fucking fantastic. It's my song of the year. And I've been blown away by his vocal performance. So I am absolutely on board with it. I think it's the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> oh my god! Or that... alternatively, Stuart can't stand the song, doesn't think he can sing for toffee, but I do like it. It's my absolute guilty pleasure. It's as old-fashioned as fuck. I um, mean, it, it's something that should have been in Melody Festival fifteen years ago, easily. But I don't care. I really like it, and. What he needs to do is to get that extended version of the song and just squash it into three minutes because that is brilliant. Um, I love it. I don't care what anybody else says about it. I really don't. I will not hear a word said against it. Well, let me start by the positives. Now you've called me out. I feel like I, sh I should respond. And, and <laughs> no, respond no, you don't as have well. to. No, I, I feel like I should. When people call me out, I think it's only fair that I get a chance to you know, to, uh, oh, no, to, no, to no, 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 I, I put your point already. Are you, I'm not allowed to reply. No. <laughs> I've got a minute. I'll grab some popcorn and be back. In a minute. <laughs> well, we'll move on then. We'll move on. Can, Donna. Can, 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 can the, can the, um, the chat room not help me out here <laughs> before I get sacked? Come on, Tracy, Neil. Uh, to be fair, some of the comments coming through, I think, um, uh, would probably uh, echo somewhat disappointment for the UK's entry this year. You know what? No, when no, you have no, hype, no, it's a damn. Look, damn. when you have hype behind the song, five. That's some really good comments coming through for the song. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, shut up then, shall I? We we'll move on to Donna. Donna, <laughs> what do you think of the song? Um, okay, well, I'm I'm in the middle camp here. It's one of those that it's it sticks in your head. It, it's quite simply um catchy enough that it'll stay there and he he has shown that he can definitely perform this so i'm quite pleased about that um the track itself is very basic and i don't know if that annoys me more than anything it's like the tubular bells seem just like awkwardly placed and the way it's it it's produced in the track is a little bit squished and flat and yeah um so yeah, actually filling it out a little bit more would actually help, in my opinion. But um, I really, I quite like it. It's its chorus is very good. It's very catchy. It's simple. He's going to make it fun and light. And if they don't do any crazy staging, um, I think uh, he could do really well, quite honestly. Um, so Stu, it's not as bad as you think it is. Um, I like it. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, it's doing so well in the charts. I think it got as high as 42. Anyway, moving on. Gustav, what do you think of the UK's entry this year? I love it. 
<laughs> I'm with Andy on this one. Uh, I think it's it's fun. It's a very camp. It's uh, very gay. Um, it, for me, it's perfect. And uh, I haven't had uh, the UK in my top three since uh, Lucy Jones. So welcome back to my top three. There you go. Um, do you know what? I've got a feeling this is going to go very badly for me this evening. Georgia. <laughs> I'm, I'm counting on you a bit here. What are your thoughts on the UK's entry? I hate it. Oh, I hate it so much. There are only three songs that I currently skip in the official playlist. And this is one of them. I don't know why, but it annoys me so much. The the bells, what is that? Like, it's not a Christmas songs, a song. And I can't even explain it because it's a very basic pop song so i should like it but i just don't i think the video i just i don't know i i can't find anything positive except apparently he can perform it well so that's you know he can perform a bad song well yay no um i actually hate this more than yeah almost every other song this year and you know i'm part british so i can say that <laughs> but I just don't see this doing well in a year where there's so many different pop songs and then here comes the most basic one ever i don't know georgia I please think... could i just jump in and I, I, know, I know the answer to what you're saying it's because it's very 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 manufactured somebody sat down and go we need this we need that we need da, 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 and they put it all together and that's what what you're what you're fi finding that it's too manufactured. That's what I think about the German song, which is a completely different, different, different song. But again, it just feels as if it's being put together to a formula. And the UK song has been put together with a formula that I happen to like. So that's why I like it. And that's why you don't. And that probably explains why you feel like you do about it. What I think is really interesting, though, is that um, we've had a couple, as a UK fan, it's my country, so I, I feel like I could talk about this. But we really should have learned from the last few years. We've spent a lot of money in terms of the UK learning about how to do Eurovision, and we've actually managed to progress last year's result aside. Um, and actually, I just, I, I don't know what we've created here. I think that's the issue. The song feels to me very manufactured. Well done, Andrew. And we agree, that's twice in one night. And... Um, I, I just don't know how it's going to be elevated on stage. Donna, I've had to get that word in at least once this ESC fan TV season. I just don't see how it's going to be elevated using some form of creative staging. It will be. I have no doubt it will be. I just can't picture it in my mind. And that's what's bothering me. But should I be concerned, Sean? No. This is epic. It is brilliant. I love it. It's in my top three. Um, I just think that... Right, going back to what Andy said, it's it's old fashioned as fuck. Yes, it is. Rewind twelve months, right? Gustav for Belgium because of you. That was old fashioned as fuck, and that did so so well. And I think this has got the same kind of vibe to it. I really love it. I love how it builds. I love the tubular bell sounds in the background. It sounds Christmassy. It sounds magical. I love that. It's very reminiscent of. Um, of some Pet Shop Boys elements in there. There's some Erasure elements in there. You can hear them quite quite obviously. And, and I love the, the spoken word section in the middle, which is a real rip-off of Adam Ricketts' uh, Breathe Again, going back maybe, I don't know, 20, 25 years. Uh, it's a really good song. I do have beef with the BBC in a way, not at the song, but at the lack of airplay. Because... Mm. It yeah. was released when it was released with a, a bit of a fanfare and it was, you know, it was revealed on Zoe Ball's breakfast show or whatever. And then nothing. I listen to radio to a lot. I have it on pretty much all day, every day. And I've very rarely heard this be played. Now it might change next week. That probably impacted the, you know, the chart position. It got to number 42. It wasn't played. Um, it's now next week. It's going to be radio Two single of the week. We'll see what happens from then onwards. But I am disappointed. I mean, Scott Mills and Ryland Clark, who really 
champion Eurovision for Radio 2 actually took a month off. They took the whole month off. Uh, so they weren't even there to promote it on their shows either, and they would have done. Uh, so hopefully now things will sort of fit into place. I'm sure he can perform it really well live. As far as the staging is concerned, it's promised that it won't be something that spins around. So we'll see. But we do know that he's got dances. I, I, I really, really love the song. I think it would do really well with the right staging. He can sing it well, although he said his, his staging is challenging. But, but we'll have to see. The comments in the chat room, most of them are pretty positive. Um, John says that this song has potential but I think it might be a lot of jury's 11th place. Mm. Um, so, uh, Neil, I just can't tell with the UK. It's not really my style of music. It could go either way, and uh, that staging will be the key. Troy says, this is Ollie through and through. This will do well, but the live performances have, oh, the live performances have proven it. Dan says, it's a brilliant entry for the UK. Ollie's proved that he can sing it live, and he certainly thinks that we've got a top five finisher, something to be proud of. Um, Thomas says if the UK doesn't F up the staging it could be a decent result even maybe top 10 it's not Sam Ryder but I like it Tracy said it's a great radio song I'm not sure how it will compete though it's all about the staging Elliot he said it's fine nothing special but nothing poor either and the BBC massively oversold Ollie and the song up to its lead up so and a quick hello to Leo from Switzerland Thanks for joining us. Yeah. <laughs> make sure you uh, you subscribe, Leo. And uh, for the 90 or so in the chat room, make sure you like tonight's show and tell us what you think of each of the uh, the entries we're covering and uh, who you think is your favourite and who could do really well. Panel, do we think the UK is a hit or a miss this year? Let's find out. Three, two, one. There you go. Just me and Georgia. Well, you know, me and Georgia are obviously right. So let's find out in just a few weeks' time. Bye, everybody. See you later. Bye. Bye.